Hi, it's Miss Nadia from McCartlinville Public Library, and I wanted to share a few short stories with some of our older readers in the elementary school. Um, as you know, it's autumn, and with autumn comes shorter days and longer nights. And it's also a little cooler and a, sometimes a little spookier. And, um, and um, if you've been out at night, you might have noticed that some of the animals in nature are pretty busy um, preparing for winter. But also, there are animals that are busy at night because they're considered night animals or they're nocturnal which means they're awake during the night when we're sleeping. So I have this cute story called Night Animals and it's written by Gianna Marino and it is published by Penguin Random House Books. And as you can tell, look at it, it's dark. There's lots of things out in the dark. And here's the title page. I'm going to turn the page and we'll look and see. Before we start, I want to know if you know what this animal is. He's got hair. He's got big ears. He's got um hands without hair on them and I don't know if back here showed his tail maybe in here no he's got a long pink tail and I didn't know if you knew who he was what kind of animal he was because not they're not usually shown in children's books but it's a possum and here is a skunk and the skunk says, well, hey, possum, what are you doing in, in there? Shh, I'm hiding. What are we hiding from? Night animals, now keep quiet. Can you move over? Uh, let's find somewhere else. Did you hear something? Are you trying to scare me? Help me! Help you! You're a wolf! Uh oh, look. What do skunks do when they get scared? Poor possum. Arrrr! But something is following me! What? What is it? It's big and hairy, long, sharp claws. I'm not here. That's what possums do when they get scared. They play dead. He's pretending he's dead. You guys gotta help me. Something huge is coming. What can be bigger than a bear? Why is the sky getting darker? Night animals! Run! Hide! Stop! What are you so scared of? Brrr. 
you're scared of night animals. But you are night animals. Oh, 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 oh. Did you hear something? It's coming from the tent. Uh oh, who's in the tent? Click. Run, run. Awesome. Looks like he's going to play dead again because he got scared. So that was the night animals. I hope you liked it. So let's learn a little bit more about one of my favorite night animals. They're kind of creepy. And let's see if you can guess what it might be. It says my fangs are white and sharp. What am I? And this is called by Zoo Clues, and it's from Bearport Publishing, and it's written by Jessica Rudolph. Let's see if you can guess. I think you probably know. Like many nonfiction books, they have a table of contents so you can find specific topics about the animal. It says, what am I? Look at my nose. It is short and flat. This is his nose. Hmm. I have two feet. Each foot has five claws. One, two, three, four, I have big pointy ears. Hmm. You guys have any ideas? I think you might. My fur is short and brown. I have two long thumbs. And each one has a curved claw right here. My wings are wide. They do not have feathers. My fangs are white and sharp. What am I? Let's find out. I am a vampire bat. There he is. And that's the end. It has more facts. But I'll let you read that on your own if you would like to check this out at the library. I have another book. It's all about called All About Bats, and it is written by Karen Jenner, and it is put out by DK um, Publishing. And it's called Bats, and it's like any other nonfiction, and nonfiction means it has facts in it. Nonfiction books have facts in it, and it has a table of contents so you can skip if you need to find certain information like if you're doing a report. So let's start. This one says bats fly. So this paragraph will be all about bats flying. It said, and these are all the details about bats flying. 
The sun sets. It is nighttime. Bats fly through the sky. Bats wing, bat wings. There are many kinds of bats. They all have webbed wings and furry bodies. And here's the diagram shows. This is the wing. This is the bones that go through the wing. And this is his fur. In the dark, the bat, um, bats squeak. They hear the sound of the squeak. It helps them to find their way in the dark. And look at, there's an ear and they have large ears so that they can catch the sound waves from their squeaks. Upside down. Bats can hang upside down. They hold on with their claws. There. And look at this diagram shows his eye and his sharp teeth. And look at how his wings are wrapped around him. And his feet are hanging. This one is about baby bats. It says baby bats are called pups. This bat mother wraps her wings around her pup. See, look at it. It's like they're hugging. And then over here is a brand new baby one. And look at his eyes aren't even open. And his skin is not yet furry. And the next page, it says food for bats. At night, bats fly around. They look for food. Bats eat fruit or catch insects. And look at this diagram. Look at this picture. He's got a fruit. And then here's a moth. And it says insect, because a moth is an insect. Flying home in the morning, the bats fly home to sleep. Homes for bats. Some bats find homes in old buildings. Look at this is a building. And some bats live high up in trees. bat cave. These bats live together in a big bat cave. Shh. They are sleeping. Look at even covers his face and he's sleeping. The end. And the book ends with a glossary which tells you some new vocabulary words that you may need to know. But we won't go through that. You'll have to check out this book by yourself, and it'd be great for you to read and share with mom and dad this time of year, since it's kind of the batty time of year since with Halloween and everything. Um, real quick, I have a craft to show you. It's, a, it's to make a bat. I literally used a marker to color a clothespin, put some jeweled eyes on there. I have a coffee filter and I cut it in half. Look at it used to be a half circle. It was a circle and then I cut it in half and then I folded it in half and this is what it looked like. And then I cut, I came in and this is gonna be the body or I guess I'll show it with this, the body. And then, so I came up higher and then went out. And then I did a little curve here and a curve up here. This is where his little hands and thumbs would be. And so then, and I 
I colored it. Some You can get fancier with markers and spritz a little water so it kind of bleeds and blends the, the markers in. Or you can do it just with mark. I did marker and some cream. And that is a bat. All right, you guys, thank you for listening to this story. I hope you come visit me at the Carlinville Public Library. I look like this. And you can come in and check out your own books. You just have to wear your mask and you have to clean, wash your hands. So thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.